Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. When astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore arrived at the International Space Station, all smiles as they began what they thought would be just eight days in space. Now finding out, they'll be there eight months instead. Our core value is safety. And it is our North Star. I'll just reiterate again, this is a test flight. The two astronauts were the first to fly on the Boeing Starliner. But as it arrived, it had issues with the thrusters that helped maneuver the craft. And it was leaking helium, a problem NASA engineers have been trying to fix, finally deciding Saturday that they couldn't. The Starliner will fly back without its crew. So the big concern about that is during reentry, like what will the leaks due to the spacecraft, what happens when it gets superheated as it goes through the atmosphere. Um, same with the thrusters. Will it be able to maneuver the spacecraft like it's supposed to through the atmosphere? And so these are um, things that now NASA can test without putting the crew at risk. This is just the latest controversy for the Boeing company. Issues with its planes, now its spacecraft already $1.6 billion over budget. When the astronauts do return in February, it will be on a SpaceX rocket. I talked with Butch and Sonny uh, both yesterday and today. They support the agency's decision fully, and they're ready to continue this mission on board ISS as members of the Expedition 71 crew. There's Butch coming in through the hat. Good thing, because they really don't have a choice. They are simply stuck in space. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.